Bezrat Hashem, in uh, after Arvit, we're going to count today Netzach Shebagvura. Netzach Shebagvura is a very important Sfirah of the week. Bechlal, we were talking about the whole week of the power of Gvura. The power of Gvura, really what it is, we have in our, in our nefesh, in the lower part of our soul, ten, ten kochot, ten powers, that one of them is the power of gvura. The power of gvura in our nefesh is energy. And everything needs energy. Without energy, nothing will move. So the energy that's in our nefesh is coming from the sphira of gvura. Now, too much energy is not good, and too low energy is not good. And uh, we need to know how to balance the energy. Now, Netzach in Hebrew can be uh, uh, translated in a few ways. One of them, Lenatzach, to win, means to conquer, or to overcome, to win. But Lenatzach has another uh, translation, a uh, conductor in an orchestra, you know, the one that... Uh, conducts the orchestra, this is also a way to translate Netzach. Le Netzach <coughs> can be explained as Lenatzach. Lenatzach means to either to win and to conquer, to overcome, or to conduct in a way like a conductor does, overseeing the entire orchestra and knowing how to uh, maneuver it in such a way, in a very harmonious way, that the sounds come perfectly even. So I need to know, of course it sounds much better in Hebrew when you say it, I'll say the verse in Hebrew, then we'll translate. I need to know, This is how the script is describing it. You have to know how to conduct the different levels of energy in your life. Sometimes you have high energies and sometimes you have low energies. Sometimes you need the low energy and sometimes you need the high energy start mixing them around, it causes problems. So, during this week, we started by first seeing the chesed in the gvura, the kindness and the love in severity. Then, we moved to what we said yesterday, is to gather courage and to be brave and to know how to use the gvura. Now, I need a balance. Like we mentioned many times, and specifically in the teachings of Kabbalah, it's all about having the right balance. If you don't have balance, then you're in balance. And then that's not a good thing. The balance here is that I need to know how to control the energy. And this is the sphira of Netzach. The Gvura is the actual energy. But Netzach is how I control the energy. And to know how to control your energy, it's very important because the soul has unbelievable powers. If we would really know the power of our soul and we would use just 1% of it, we would be a hundred times more than what we are now. We just don't realize how powerful the soul is. And not only that, even if I do have some type of an idea how powerful the soul is, I don't know how to use it. But nevertheless, if I use my soul, so to say, in full power, it has unbelievable powers that too much of it in the wrong direction can cause damage that we can't even imagine. This is what's called in the Kabbalistic term Shivirat Kelim, breaking of the vessels. And the vessels are, are not strong enough to contain the power of the light. Now physically how it refers to our life, that Shivirat Kelim, the, the, the Kli that we're referring to here right now is my body. And too much energy directed to the wrong way can cause the Kli, maybe the vessel of the body, to, to break. It's not going to break physically, but we do have a, a term of a, what's called a nervous breakdown. Why you call it a nervous breakdown? You should just say, I don't know, maybe I can find a better term for that. But why is it a breakdown? Because this coming from the term of Shvirat Akilim, it cannot contain high energy. So I just need to know how to control the power of my soul. The point is that sometimes the, soul, the, the energy of the soul can be very, very powerful. And it will be very good for me. Sometimes it can be very bad. 
Sometimes very low energy can be good for me, and on the other side can be very bad. I just need to know how to balance the energy. Now, practically saying, we like applying things, what we're learning, is I need to, to recognize when I'm overpowering myself with too much energy. And on the other hand, when I'm giving l too less energy. How do you recognize when you're overpowering yourself with energy? Is when you see that the system is not holding the pressure. On the other hand, when I give too less energy, then this will come out as laziness, of being uh, not caring, not responsible. I need to be uh, aware of how the energy is being conducted. Needless to say that that's what we were saying the last couple of days, that in, in any way, in, any part of these practical things that we're talking about, you can only do it if you, first of all, bring yourself to a place of humility. You can't do any type of tikkun or any type of rectification if there's, no, if there's too much pride there, too much arrogance. It's not going to work. A person has to first build, bring himself to a point of a lower point. Lower point means that of humility, of humbleness. And then I can start applying that. But practically saying, I need to monitor my behavior. If I see right now that I'm getting a beep on my WhatsApp group, and there's a notification, Mincha in 45 minutes, and I get excited, this is very good. It's very good energy going there. High energy directed to the, very, to the right place. But if it's like, eh, eh, they'll get a minion. I'll catch up. I'll come the after. They're probably going to start late. I know, and I'll just say, uh, today I'll dive in at home, or I'll go to the shul here around the house. Then right away, a red uh, light has to be like, wait a minute, why are you being lazy here? Why aren't you jumping out of your chair and coming to be the first one in shul so you can read some tili, maybe tikkuna klali, maybe recall banot with a peace of mind, quietly say it out loud. So you, one wants to be very... Uh, aware of how the energy is being directed and I want to have control over the energy and this is where it's coming from the Sefirah of Netzach because Netzach is conducting, is controlling, is overpowering and of course I need to see where the energy is taking me in. Too much high energy, where do you recognize too much high energy going to the wrong direction is when uh, you know you're going in a the, in the, in the path of a sin and the excitement is too much for the sin that you don't have any restrictions. I mean, we're talking here about we are observant people. I'm not talking about a person that comes from a completely unaffiliated place. I'm talking about us, that we are observant people, that you show up here three times a day. This is already a high level, that you find yourself in a shul three times a day, and you learn Torah, and you observe Shabbat, and eat kosher, and so forth. So you can recognize right away, and when there's too much excitement going for a certain direction that is forbidden, then you say, okay, the, the energy is directed to the wrong, the wrong place. Needless to say, too much of that will cause a disaster. Now, there's much more examples. I'm just giving the general idea. The point is to be able to know how to contain the energy in a very equal and balanced way. Not too much, not too low, and not going to the wrong direction. Because our soul is like a nuclear bomb. It has unbelievable energy. Just release that energy. You don't know how, how it will how it will affect. Needless to say, this is both for the positive and the negative. So just to reiterate, Gvura is the energy in our nefesh. Netzach is the power to overcome, to conduct, and to control the energy, whether too much, too low, then what direction. And practically saying, you have to notice where the energy is taking you. If it's going, taking you to a lower place, to a higher place, and needless to say that it's constantly in a very equal way. That will be our practice for the day.